got the wall mark. We got the dick for the wrong sport. You know, you know. If you know about the sport, though it's supposed to be awkward. If you know, you know. I, uh, Frenchie, if you want to watch it, I'm broadcasting it on YouTube. You just can't, I'm just, uh, you can't, uh, use it, watch it, and, uh, use, uh, different playbooks or other seasons, so. You still need to join that, by the way. You, you joined it as the Browns? Okay, and I, I, while I was in there, I didn't, I didn't see it, that's what I was wondering. As we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. A few short moments ago, okay. these two teams yeah, made it wasn't there the first time. Levi Stadium tunnels and the noise level in this place. Frenchy, you definite. haven't found my string yet. As the 49ers get ready to do battle with Philip Rivers and the Los Angeles Chargers. Find it's my under my name, Paul Ryder. This is taken about seven yards deep. Four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21 yard line. Hey, hey, hey. There's someone's watching. Is that you, Frenchie? Yeah. On first and ten, Rivers. And his first look is incomplete. <laughs> and that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. <laughs> You'll be saying stuff while I'm playing, running. Buying time to his left. Actually, it is cover two. Wide open, complete. And all the way down to the 29. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10. As they're you did say the play last time. To throw his rivers. Just keeping the play alive. Over the middle, he's got Tyrell Williams. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. A first red zone opportunity here for the Chargers. First and 10 at the 19. From the red zone now, Rivers. Got a man, it's Allen for the Charger touchdown. That's Keenan just Allen cheap. From 19 yards away, <laughs> and the Chargers yes, take help. the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. How? Charges for the extra point. Yeah, how does that that, seven, that? Wow. My body was even. Sturgis my legs were there before you when you kicked it off. <laughs> In yeah, before zone. you kicked it. I my body crossed it, but and something got should have got connected with it. About the 17 yard line. <laughs> Bethard breaks the huddle and leads the Niners up with a first and ten at their own 17 yard line. Here's Bathard to throw. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Pierre Garçon, the intended oh, fuck. receiver. Oh, yeah. Son of a bitch. 
Charles already trailing by touchdown well, early. This I'm tough. I wish I was state of the Bears. I totally like forgot about to clicking on uh, grapples injured. Already on the board against their defense, but I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. All right, now lucky 56, lucky 56. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. And not a whole lot to speak of there as he'll bring him down shy of the 20. He'll be brought down at the 43. Joey Bosa in on the stop. Damn it. I'm one. There we go. To throw is Bethard. Flushed out right. On the run. He'll let this go deep right side. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off by Jaleel Adai. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away. I fucking down rolled out for fucking reason. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Chargers coming back onto the field here, and through three weeks, they're one and two. Now, it's been a bit of a tough schedule, but they lost the Battle of L.A. last week to the Rams 35-23. At least it wasn't a long road trip. Yeah, that's true. They got home pretty easily, right? So that really worked out pretty well for them. But the two losses, they're the teams that are 3-0, and Kansas City and L.A. And remember, they're going to stay in California a lot, all right? They were in L.A. this week. They'll be out the earlier. against the uh, 49ers, the dude. and then the Raiders are coming to town. They've got a chance to get right and get into the race in the AFC West. Got his man, it's Williams. That was good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. But he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. On third down, Rivers. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 46. <laughs> Mitchell able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play and it'll be fourth down and how about this fourth and long and they're gonna go for it they're indeed going for it it's Rivers Going deep here for Allen. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jack Risky Tart. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The San Francisco 49ers, we'll get a look at them again here on offense in a you second. Mother what do you think about where they're at? They're one and two, but the big story, obviously, you already had lost McKinnon. Now you're down Garoppolo. Do they have enough offensive firepower? They do if they can get everyone healthy because Matt Breida's picked up the slack as a runner. I mean, through Sunday's game in week three, he was tied for the NFL lead in rushing yards through the first three weeks, so he's really picked up his game. They're going to need some help. Can Marquise Goodwin get fully healthy outside and use his blinding speed to create some plays downfield to help out the young quarterback, C.J. Beathard, and this young defense? Can they hold the point of attack at the line of scrimmage? and start to really make it tough on offenses to move the ball. And he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can he get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 12 more yards there and another first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Here's Bether to throw. He'll find Goodwin here on the right side. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A gain of six there on first. 
When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. To throw is Bethard. And bringing it in, this is Selleck over the middle. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. So from Charger territory now. Here's so much of my first stop was square when I see him brought up. That's why it's all over the play. It was a run play. This is Brita. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Back to throw Bethard. Damn it. Pressure now, and Bethard goes down to the turf. Kyle Emanuel. Well, my per right. I freaking had to pull back of the freaking screen, but he didn't release in time. Takes a start to have a good drive, quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. He's going to go for a big play downfield, and that is caught one-handed. Oh, <laughs> That was an excellent read right there. <laughs> Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field. <laughs> that was luck. It's going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big time completion. 49ers with their first trip to the red zone thus far. They have a first and 10 at the 13 yard line. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. One thing that really impressed me about Joey Bosa is that he doesn't sacrifice the run game trying to get sacks. This guy really knows how to hold the point of attack, great leverage, and then goes and checks people and makes plays. And at 6'5", 270, just a monster. Absolute monster with a really high motor. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Now Bethard, looking for Garcon, he's got it. Touchdown 49ers. Watch the field goal going to sit From eight yards out. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. The Chargers getting set to go. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Back now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Chargers here with a the football. They face a second and seven to start things out. <laughs> to throw, Rivers. And a hit, Jared loose. It's incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. <laughs> Unable to find anyone open. 
They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Looking for his tight end gates, and it's intercepted. Oh, <laughs> Picked off by the safety, John Whiskey Tart. The tight end gates, the intended. Why target. did he go out of bounds? That, that was a pick six. Sets them up beautifully already <laughs> in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find the spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. They go play action here on first down. Oh wow, holy. Did not want to go, go there. I wanted to go straight right up. I was in the middle of pushing it. Quarterback in 101. Never Yes, I did. I got lucky too. <laughs> Especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight. You just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. They'll throw here. Bathroom. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Denzel Perryman. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range. But boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board. But give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. Following the interception here, Rivers. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he gets this one up just shy of the 35 to the 34. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Rivers now, 6 of 10 in this first half. He's got his guys a first down here. A first down throw here for Rivers. First down, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, <laughs> especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass I don't stays, like no doing dirt, that. Nothing freaking on it. Too hard it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Too great, and he goes down once more. But this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious <laughs> passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. Gates has it over the middle. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. And the 49ers going to take another timeout. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Rivers is going to stay out there. They're going to try for this thing on fourth down. They're going to try and throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Flush to his right. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. All right, here we go. Bathard. Eluding the pressure right. Complete to the right. This is Garcon. And down inside the 15 he goes. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. They run with Breda. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. 
double, and this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive. Just stuck oh, there's another person watching. Who that is? He was talking to us, and he's like, "Hey, these pants make me look fat." And we said, "Nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy." He is a well open, and he's gonna take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Marquise Goodwin, an 11-yard <laughs> touchdown. And the Niners are able to cash in for six. Oh my fucking wow. better as a receiver because now your quarterback trusts that you're going to be where he expects and he's able to deliver the ball on time. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold. He trusted his defense. He trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. They've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. Blitz coming, and down he goes. <laughs> Ruben Foster coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Rivers. Going underneath for Gordon. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. A minute 59 to go in the first half. Back to the booth right after this. So they had a big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Bearing it deep for Garcon. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground and it brings up third. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown of this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though. Oh. The third time here in this half, it's intercepted. <laughs> Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. So that is three interceptions now in this first half, and you hate to ask the question, but you know, let's be honest, we're thinking about it. Do you need to go in a different direction next series? Potentially. We know that he's probably not going to be on the Pro Bowl ballot. That's not really his stature here, but he has been their starting quarterback for this game. So they've got to weigh things about who's behind him. Do they think he can snap it back into gear? Maybe change up the play calling to help him out a little bit. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. 
Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside. Later. Second down, Rivers. Right side catch. This is Gates. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Rivers now 10 of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first and 10. Rivers now to throw on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. They were looking to go back to Gates, and that'll bring up second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. Throwing again. Rivers on second and ten. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. DeForest Buckner continuing to fight downfield. The big tackle gets him for a loss of 11. So it's third and long for the Chargers and Rivers after the sack. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And he's got you son of a bitch. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it you got inside lucky. the 40-yard line. 34 yards there at a first down. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Rivers on first down. And down he goes. The 49 get there and before the second down play we'll get a whistle a signal and a timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime sacks a growing theme in this first half this is second and long rivers now caught by gates left side a good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. Rudy, where did he go? That's will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. The Chargers on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and six. From the gun, Rivers. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And brought down, but not...
I went oh, all day. Seriously, come on. Rudy, you back? Ah, uh, don't have all day there. Have to work in the morning. Come on. Who's back? Are you back yet? Hello. Well, I am, but I don't know if he's back. I'm freaking. I don't have all day. It's getting annoying. <laughs> I already stacked him six times. No, I'm talking about your, uh, your friend. He's Paul's our game. I don't have all day. Ah, oh, 
come on there. <laughs> Five thirty in the morning. I want to play you once, but I'm gonna freaking can't do that if I can't get this game over with. I usually lay in bed for a while anyway. Come on, I 
Where the fuck are you? Rancher, are you there? You there? Yeah. Yeah, let's play a game. I had... I quit that one because I ain't waiting for him. What? Let's play. Get on. Yes, over here. Get to me. He finally replied to me. No, I have a section to connect first. Are you over here yet? Are you coming? Okay. I'm gonna pick one, two, three, Seattle. Ty randomized it three times, you know that, right? <laughs> oh my god, you and oh, I can just pick the same keep the same coach. You, you can't you can't win that way, right? 
<laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Well, my way I do, I was picking my sister up from school on the way back. You know, like, well, no damn fault. Even though I was going kicking your ass. Yeah, he had to go pick up sister up from school. That's what he said. I'm re I, it's even recording too. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. We are in the Pacific Northwest as we get set for football at Century Link Field here in Seattle. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks. Oh, my lime green uniform gonna beat you. With Joe Flacco <laughs> and the Baltimore Ravens. This field it a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him a bit. Oh my god. Five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Why? You already know what I was throwing to. Which one? <laughs> and that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the end. Yeah, he's covering a guy who's crossing you. I wasn't throwing to that person. I was actually throwing to square. Second and ten. It's Wilson. And he fouls it. And he showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Give him nine on the play, and that is going to set up a third and one. They go play action with Wilson. Uh, he rifles one that's intercepted. You, I don't like that. That's fucking stupid. How there's no way you can jump that fucking high. That's why I hate about this game. That's what really irritates me. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Finding room to the 20. And all the way in for a Ravens Because I wasn't even freaking ready, you hiked the ball. Buck Allen, 34 yards. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Well, I was, I was even, I was not even on my guy. I was like, just trying to get to the try, and you fucking all of a sudden. That's why you had to pick it up the field. Yeah, that's why you had the open field. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the twenty. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or just play. Just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. 
They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. And incomplete. Almost intercepted. The D lineman almost had it. Couldn't hang on. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. <laughs> That's intercepted. Picked off by Tony Jefferson. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. After the interception, here's Jackson. Wide open receiver complete. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Nick Boyle, 28 yards. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. Charles I'm roughing Hodges him, trying to injure him. Declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Because they had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 28, and his guys will take over no, no. at the 25. Why should, why should, it's pointless. We're looking for Marshall that time. You're fucking You're moving everywhere. I'm not laughing at the I situation. fucking can't do anything. Sometimes you just get yourself into a rut, it's hard to shake yourself out of it. I'm not a fucking deep, um, no, just go. I get... Jackson on first down, escaping the pressure right. Open space inside the 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Alex Collins. No, because I can't get nowhere. And the Ravens will extend their lead. Tucker able to connect. You fucking. So they elect you play. know it. Try not. Just go ahead and let the play stand. And they'll take that. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Now Wilson on first down. And some room to run now. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. They go play action here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, you've got a receiver here who's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there. Wanted to continue to go to the guys. Already gotten into the end zone. But good coverage to make sure that this time it fell incomplete. 
Play action. It's Jackson. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. He's not supposed to cover in that. He is not supposed to cover that guy. His coverage card was sucking toners that weren't one of the whole way out there. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running. I already know who you are. So shut the fuck up. I'm tired of your freaking. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. See how the fucking guy. This is going to kick out of bounds. Boy, a fortunate bouncer two there. They'll keep possession. You're freaking on uh, 10 yard line. First red uh, zone dog. I know who you are. They've got a first and goal from the 10 yard line. Detroit! Detroit! Hot! Hot! Jackson from the shotgun. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker Bobby Wagner. He's at the 50. 30 past the 20 and he will take this the guy who's watching the short throw pick six right there those linebackers they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide don't they how about the anticipation on the flag reading reacting and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this Good. one's in the air. The Ravens offense now. Yeah, they get for sure to people who like to pick field. And take on the pick six. And they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they you attack this You're take run. advantage of people who don't have... Just take care of the football we'll play this game 24-7. Make some decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. First and ten, it's Jackson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. They give him a gain of 38. I am not using a linebacker. I hate fucking using linebackers. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive the team towards a victory. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get up field and gain additional yardage. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Alex Collins with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. He's showing the different ways he can hit you in this first quarter. One rushing, one receiving touchdown. He's showing us he's not just a stereotype, isn't he? Not just a guy who carries the ball in the backfield, can get out into space, make plays with his hands downfield. That's a pretty good combination right there. Defensively, you'd prefer to be going against the stereotype, wouldn't you? <laughs> At least you know where he is, right. right? That gives you a chance to get more people to him and get him on the ground. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. Now he'll throw. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Now it's Wilson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Nice job there defensively. A great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. <laughs> on 
On second down, here's Wilson. Going for the deep ball. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. I hate to sound really negative, but at this point, an incomplete pass, almost a moral victory that it's not picked off. Well, you may hate to sound negative, but that was negative. It was very negative, I know, but all these first half interceptions, it's been tough to watch. Yeah, I couldn't find a silver lining in this one. Much more like lead. Play action. Now Wilson. He's got a man open. That's Marshall. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And the Ravens have got it. Well, my friend, this has certainly been a comedy of errors here in the first quarter. Neither side able to really hang on to the ball. Yeah, now I'm just curious to see which team can adjust because both have made their mistakes, as you said. Yeah, and whoever can do that can seize firm control of this game. Something they haven't done with the ball so far. After the fumble recovery, it's Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And they're going to get this one all the way out to the 25-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. I was actually not bringing the whole house. So high. Sudden change, get out There's there, only the corner the and the line brasher. Typically right out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football. Up the and he did. And down he goes, but he takes it. Second quarter now, Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis with you. It's the Ravens who have the football, and they've got it here with a first down. Throwing is Jackson. He gets this one to Michael Crabtree, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Here's Jackson. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. But that's what they have to do more defensively. Not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face. Not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving him up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Jackson now. Wide open. I was looking at my phone, though. No. And he's going to get this all the way down. I was even playing. Give him 30 yards there. I was fucking looking at my phone, so how am I supposed to move? Field position there. A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Here's a first down run with Collins. And he will lose yardage back to the 34. I was freaking enjoying playing, but no, he took the freaking over. And now sank it down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field. I was beating him, yeah. Tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out, but I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration. Yeah, this freaking idiot who freaking... That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Right back to him on first down. And he'll take this inside the 20. I hate the using linebacker. Right it's annoying. The tackle made by KJ. Not White. how I have to play. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on I rather sack the people. They show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to I told him to sack field. people. I'll freaking After him. This. I always bring an extra linebacker in. Nope. It's not. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Being chased out left. And he'll 
will be taken down at the two yard line. Do I care right now? A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16 yard gain. I ain't gonna stop. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Trying to punch it in with Collins. Nothing doing there. They're gonna wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's gonna set up second and goal. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll run. This is Allen. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Buck Allen with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Ravens will extend their lead. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk this is a big decision here. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Wilson. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. The Seahawks on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. like that on we head to half number two welcome back Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three the Ravens ready to receive it and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half a very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. I'm supposed to have fun with your freaking win, jackass. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They'll run it now out of the goal. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. 
Yeah, let me pump out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. On oh, third down, that's Allen. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. So, boy, that's already the third they burn here. They are out of timeouts now before we've even hit the fourth quarter. Watch it now, Marty. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it this time. Doesn't work out. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Wilson, the funny thing is, I only have four people rushing you. At the 45. I only, that's all I had was four people rushing you. They go back to the air here. See, how the fuck am I fucking, wow. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football When I press square, see, I press square and it fucking does that. This far you even got there. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs and he's gonna go for it. Here's Wilson, taking a shot here for Mark. And now here's another interception. Picked off by the safety, Eric Weddle. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. Marshall, the intended receiver. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Here we go now. Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. The give it and it take it away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in the game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. On second down, here's Jackson. Over the middle here to Brown. The quick slant, good for a first down, a gain of 12. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll run it now out of the gun. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. They stay on the ground with him. And he'll fall forward to the 29 yard line. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. Right, so where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Now a carry for Allen. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. They snap it at one. Now it's Jackson. Caught left side of Crabtree. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard Just line. Fucking a good score. Pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down. More annoying how you're playing now play. than you were you were you playing. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that And they'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Collins, a 10-yard touchdown run, and the Ravens add on. Well, three scores in this game. I think that deserves some type of a broad gesture. I know in hockey, that's called a hat trick, and people throw their hats out on the ice. Pointless, because fucking... What we do for this guy? Well, even you're not playing a fucking... Steak dinner tonight, right? At least you a could. skirt steak, probably a filet. Oh, you're going big. I like that. Yeah, I mean, skirt is I mean, skirt steak. Come on. You can't give the guy skirt steak. That's true. Filet. Filet. Ten Port ounce. Porter, Sixteen ounce. Porterhouse. Fine. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They are that's right that's now just that's ice cold. I mean, they, they have struggled I'll big time I'll in this game. I'll throw it I'll tell you right now. So tough because we always talk about it being a team game and you need all 11 working. See, right there. Almost for the interception. Every now and then, partner. You need that one guy 
who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find no matter what I can do, is that you're throwing used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And the Seahawks on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. Here's Wilson to throw. And he finds his man, Baldwin. And he'll be taken down just shy of the 40. Back now in Seattle, Washington. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. They set up the screen to pick. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of seven, and it'll set him back for second down. You know, the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually, but first is good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. To throw is Wilson. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup and let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Barkevious Mingo. In there to bring it down for a loss of seven. They'll need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Jackson. Finds a seam inside the 40. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Gardner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Third and one, Jackson. Flush nope, that's that's tells me it was pretty good. How many people are watching it? And there's no one watching it. Big chunks of yardage the last few plays, and the Ravens have another first down. coming from the safety Trey Flowers and that's exactly what you want on a first down run pick up five yards bring up second and five the defensive line though they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack and here he'll get it down to the seven the six yards on the pickup and it leaves him with a first and goal uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. Now it's Jackson, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. 
So another score there. And often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership <laughs> that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play. I know, I don't and care. And said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. And an alley to run. The rushing numbers for Wilson, maybe down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half. No quit in here. Zero. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Now Wilson on second down. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Now Wilson flushed it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws in his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. He had no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold it for a short game. Wilson hit. It's yeah, a, it's whatever. A and the Ravens have got it. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. I don't know mistakes. how. I cut out to the slide. We've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, yeah. down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget. Absolutely. Right, like a 56. Like a 56. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw, eluding the pressure right. He's going deep for Brown. And it's incomplete. Six and a quarter. To the very end. Get it right. If you lost your watch the first time, Dumbo. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points. Continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and And there's, and there's no fucking this. way a linebacker, as fat as ass linebacker, gets up 20 feet and quick in here and get a quick interception. Pass, it's all gonna work. That's called being in the zone. Yeah, that, that's what piss that what pisses the fuck off more. And you know it. And you fucking know so it. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Seattle, so long, everybody. Well, hurry up. I want to play you. I want to get freaking get that. Let's just out some some frustration. Seriously, while wow, this fucking game froze. Ah, fuck this game. <laughs>